Hi, welcome back. Hello. To another video. So today's video is more of like... It's a bit of nostalgia. Yes, and the sad moment of what's happened to Universal Studios. Um, our greatest memories from it. And why it's not got the same magic that we used to love about it. But... Look, this is a video you're either going to love or you're going to hate. This is our loved and lost memories of Universal. And and this video is triggered by... Um, well, we've been thinking about it for a while, haven't we? But it's, it's triggered most recently by the loss of... Of Julian Dragons. Or otherwise known as Dragon Challenge. Yeah, but definitely the people... To us it will always be. Julian, Julian Dragons. Dragons. Um, so basically, we're just going to go a few of our thoughts and I'll show you some clips and pictures along the way. Um, some of them are our pictures from our from, past trips yeah. um, and memories and yeah. uh, a bit of uh, my this, old scrapbook. With some um, nostalgia in there as well. Some nostalgia. So, yeah, so the loss of Julian Dragons is not great. Um, hopefully they make it, they're supposed to be making it better. They're supposed to be putting some basically your thoughts on this idea that you thought it may be a vr simulator ride i i think it, it maybe yeah that, that seems to be the way that universal is going is is very much vr stuff um i mean the recent rides that they've put in is 3d glasses and motion capture with vehicles or which moving it, parts i think it's great to have that free I, but i love innovation don't get me wrong um but i think i think that for me, um, Universe is kind of losing its sense that it was and always has been originally a studio. Um, and Orlando it, anyway, obviously. In, in Orlando, yeah. I mean, I think Hollywood still got um, pretty mm, pretty much because mm, that was mm. the original studio. Uh, it's still got the back, you know, um, elements of film stuff. It's still yeah, got yeah. Jaws and they've still got classic rides, which is really good. So we're going to have to go all the way over there if we want to. Yeah, we, we we haven't been over there, so we wouldn't know exactly right. what's going on. Um, As you say, we our, our love is basically Florida and Orlando in general. Yeah. But the particular ones that we are very sad about, obviously, during Dragon's Earth has said, there's many of them that we've lost since we've been going there. And each time we go there, there's something gone. I, I, think, I think our last magical trip there was probably 2012. Yep. Um, and I think since then we kind of, that's when we kind of decided that we were kind of going off Universal a little bit. Um, not so much, you know, we like some of the hotels and stuff still, don't we? Um, yeah, but it's based, just... It's, based on the memories that we have, but um, things are changing so quickly and so uh, they, just, they just got rid of one ride after another and, you know, we're all for development and stuff. I know they have but to move I with think, the times, but sometimes yeah. it's basically... It, we were always universal over Disney, always. Up yeah. until, like we said in previous videos, up until probably about 2006, was mm -hmm. it? Um, and then, uh, you know, Disney came into our life in terms of theme parks. And um, the magic, the Disney the magic. The Disney magic. Um, and now we've kind of... Feeling really sad because kind of losing that magic for Universal. I yeah, think. we have a lot because um, you've got what we call we've lost. So we've lost obviously Twister, which is a brilliant ride. Twister, one of your favourite rides. It's gone. Love well, that movie. We used to laugh because we could quote it word for word. Yeah, we used to go there so ride. many times going um, there. What was it? Bill Paxton used to say. Uh, it jabbed a exploding gasoline, gasoline tank, tank right, right in our face. face. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it used to be, hi, I'm Bill Paxton. Hi, I'm Helen Hunt. Yeah, so you know, there's all quite All these little things in the queue. Um, you know, yes, it was dated, but... It was great. Yeah, for its time, it was completely innovative. The way and for, for, for then, so you had, obviously, the Twister ride, and then you've got... Back to the Future, which is absolutely fantastic ride. And not get me wrong, we've been on the Simpsons ride, it is good, but it, it does good. not be. I, I just can't get into it because I, I just remember Back to the Future. Back to the Future. And someone put a video on Facebook recently, which I saw today, 
um, which was off the actual ride. Oh. And even the queue system, where you used to get Doc come up and he'd sort of say, Quid Scott, get nick the car, come and help us get it back. And so, like, so brilliant. And he used to look at the flux capacitor and all the little props and stuff from the Time Institute. But, yeah. but um, I'd, as you're saying, I'm just turning to the pages in my scrapbook from uh, from Twister. Um, so you wish you'd have been there. I used to love how they used to create the Twister in front of you when... When um, well, I think you'll take some shots of this yeah. as well. We can try and put them on the video. I will. Um, how they used to create that in front of you. Um, and yeah, it aged over the years, didn't it? But yeah. it just at it's the great. Time, it's great. It did like it a lot. Yeah, but obviously... they used to have the, the van from the oh. movie and things on there and and. But you then you had obviously the things like Earthquake and Jaws in that section going down. That whole that whole strip, yeah. I mean, before uh, we come to Harry Potter, obviously a lot of people like Harry Potter. Don't get me wrong. I, Harry... No, like I said, we we've been to Harry Potter and it's really well done. But being British, uh, Leavesden Studio, Warner Brothers Studios will always be Harry Potter for us because it is the original set. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, but um. You know, and it is a British thing, so we can enjoy Harry Potter more. Yeah. And I think that Harry Potter out there is more for the Americans and other people visiting. Yeah, no, um, no it's, it's all good, but, but look, compared to the rides, some of the things we've got. Yeah, some of the rides are just confrontation, so let's, jewels. Let's do an, um, uh, ride by ride, shall we? I think um, that kind of that whole left section, isn't it? It's all gone. Yes, it's all taken out. All just gone. All gone. Then it, it was like I don't know. It was like playing Jenga or. or um, <laughs> something where slowly they take the bricks out bit by it bit takes and, then, places, and yeah. then you're like left with the skeleton of like it's trying to hold itself together and then slowly that whole kind of left okay. side just, it's just all gone that's just how <laughs> the universal is, as we know is oh we've got new rides or it's going yeah, and it's mean, going slowly slowly uh, remember when Universal Studios had this logo and it was just Universal Studios yeah. Florida um, and um, the back, obviously this is from the Back to the Future ride Um <laughs> promotion um i i remember being outside of there one one year when it absolutely hammered it down with rain and uh we had a caricature done i it just took forever and i just kept laughing and looking at you so our whole character is, is just me looking at you with weird eyes like really slightly yeah, 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 yeah. and and just they had a delorean outside and it was all themed and yeah, if this thing, everything about it is brilliant. But yeah, the memories of basically Jaws, it was this, you could smell was in the rest of it and you used to go on a boat. It's just So brilliant. Jaws, let me turn to my brilliant. That whole section at Amity, do you remember what, what it was like? Um, it was, it's kind of like fun, sort of fun game. Like as if Amity was like having a 4th of July celebration. Yeah, it's it was really it? quality. Um, so just you go through it. It's so brilliant. Uh, is there a little bit of sheriff's office now, which is like no, I'm in tiny little bit, but you have got oh, the town hall. Or still got you still the, have jewel, the shark, the shark, because he's a big attraction. But um, yeah, still got the shark. I'm trying to hold this up so you can see. Do you want to hold it yeah. side because it's falling apart? Um, but this is my scrapbook. This was our fast pass system yeah. back in the day when they were cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and it got wet, and I think the memory that I put. Um, I always put little memories in here, and I said it rained lots, especially as we got to the Jaws ride. My uh, hand slipped, and my camera dropped, and pieces went everywhere all over the floor because <laughs> um, it was so wet. Um, but that was the memory I wrote down for that one. Um, but obviously, it had the the post the, the, the enemy to Amity Island. Yeah, so, it's great. Um, obviously, the shark is still there, as you said, although he's looking a bit worn now. Um, this is the actual. For those that haven't seen it, you've probably seen the video. Check about on yeah. YouTube. But this, this was the shark. Um, this was the banner that you saw on the approach to yeah. Amity yeah. Island, yeah. and again, you yeah. take some shots of this. Um, this was um, part of the actual ride mm -hmm. um, because you know, if you sleep, you took shots. This was the orca that was on the corner. Um, a bit of my painting again. Some more uh, memories. I think the memory that I've written in the corner here was I always remember going through the Jaws car park. Um, because we used to stay in what was called at the time it used to be called the, the was it called the Twin Towers? It was called the Radisson Twin. The Radisson yeah. Twin Towers, I think. Um, and then it got renamed to Radisson Universal, and is now Double Tree. Um, yeah. It's basically right at the bottom of Universal Boulevard. Which we could walk up straight away. I think it was less than um, ten minutes walk. Yes, yeah, it's, it's you approach the Universal Boulevard from Kirkman Road. Yeah. Um, and the trolley gets off at Kirkman Road and it's there. And we used to stay there every year that we went. 
we'd always stay there and we used to just walk up the road to Universal, cut through the multi-storey car park. And the Jaws um, music was and playing. the Jaws music was playing. I think that's why I put that down as a memory. Um, at one point, they, when the only hotel that they had was the Portofino. Yes. Um, and the view that we had from our hotel was just the multi-storey car park and yeah. a little bit of the Portofino. Uh, if I can find a photo of that, I'll take one. Yeah, um, if I remember, I can find shop. one. That's not a problem. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the, that was the George one. Well, and then, then you said about Back to the Future, didn't you? Back to the Future. Um, so I have some shots of the actual DeLorean as it was outside. Yep, yep, that's um, good. From there. Uh, um, I have an actual, again, fast pass ticket from the Back to the Future yeah. ride. Um, I have the outside shop where the DeLorean was. Um, obviously, um, because this is scrapbook, I just put it out with my artwork. Well, and then obviously so you had the, they had the, uh, the dinosaur, dinosaur vi videos that is in the it's bright. The dinosaur! <laughs> The video of so brilliant artwork she stands there of the great stuff. Uh, confrontation. Um, do you remember confrontation? I do. Lot? I think it was really um, cool. I think that's in here. If you want to find a picture of that, um, confrontation. I always remember the queue ride, and um, it was really really long, and it was like a was it like a subway? Yeah, subway. Um, yeah. And it had like all graffiti on it, and it had the smells, and it was like because obviously the ride was you went and got in an overhead cable car. Um, and so you started off from the street level, didn't you? And then you went up to the platform where you got on the cable car. Um, and it was dark and it was smoky and like the streets of, I don't know, where's it set? New York. Um, yeah. And it was quite a big ride, wasn't it? And I, I do well remember the Kong Maquette. And I watched, there is a great video on YouTube about how it was made and yeah. how it was controlled. Um, and... Um, being the creative type, I really, really love like old school special effects. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's part of the reason that we miss the Universal yes, Rise and Gone. That's be, that's is they're all old school special effects. Um and you know, they made the creatures themselves, they controlled the creatures, they you know, real hardcore pyrotechnics and Universal Rise in general. And hopefully my lovely wife has given me some more memories and more because she's got a lot of facts. Have you about our memories and how how awesome? I remember that. a lot more than you. You do. Yeah. You do. You don't remember until I start talking about. That's it. That's yeah. why. That's yeah. why she's good. <laughs> but you know, you're all it's all good. Some great memories and great stuff out there, and it's always going to be our memories that you can't really take away. That's still going to be there. And thanks to the beauty of YouTube nowadays, you always have that kind of yeah. memory, which is great. So. Never a bad taste for Universal, still very awesome and recommend anybody that needs to go and you need to that go. That has never been. Do go. Yes, certainly. Um, it's it's it, still good. It is still very good. Um, but yeah. go in Halloween Horror Nights if you can in October, September or whatever. It's awesome. But as I just say, there you have it. This is our little... Um, our little montage to memories and moments from oh. Universal, mm. Loved and Lost. Loved and Lost. Lost and too. Thanks for watching. Hope this brings back memories for you. Until the next video, bye for now.